Hello, in this video today I will be reviewing a Gerber survival stroke bushcraft knife from a company called ronniesunshines.co.uk You'll find the link for them below here in the description They supply a lot of survival and bushcraft gear and they seem pretty good, delivered it on time um, Right. I've had lots of knives over the years, some good, some bad, some haven't lasted five minutes as soon as you chuck them into a tree to snap off, as you tend to do when you're younger. Um, I do have two supposed survival knives now, the first of which is this new one. It's got a four inch blade, rubberized handle, with a little hole in here, in case you want to put a cord around or something, keep it on your wrist. Um, I've got very small hands for a man. And this fits me perfectly, so I'm not sure how it would fit somebody with bigger hands, but for me it feels really nice. Only a four inch blade, but for bushcraft and also skinning rabbits and so on and such forth, it's perfect because it's really sharp, it's easily maneuverable. Obviously you, you can't take limbs off or something with it, but it is a very nice, well-balanced knife. The sheath that comes with it, is like a plasticky sort of construction um, made of webbing or something I'm not sure what it's made of but a, with a plastic insert fits on your belt belt loop there knife fits quite snugly into there little popper to keep it on so it doesn't drop out just a, a very nice small useful knife I think it cost me about 45, 50 quid or something with the delivery, but it's been well worth it. Excellent knife. So this is the one I use now when I'm out with the kids, lighting fires, collecting wild food and so on and so forth, making traps and so on. Very useful for making, you know, whittling down wood, make little toggle releases for spring snares and deadfall traps and so on and so forth. Compare this to my previous one which I still have, which is an exact replica of the knife Sylvester Stallone used in Rambo 3. It's actually made by the same dude, Skip Hill. I've had this since about 1988, 99. Far as a survival goes, as far as a survival knife goes, three words could probably describe it. Absolutely bloody useless. Far too big. Imagine trying to, to cut down a little toggle release or make little pegs or something. With this, you'll probably end up losing half your fingers. I suppose in the jungle, pretty good. You know, very big, nice, heavy, well-balanced knife for hacking down vegetation and so on. But for actually making traps and skinning things, it's just not much good at all. Uh, it's pretty good if you're a pirate and you need to run somebody through. But as far as bushcraft goes, no good at all. See the size difference? No use. A lot of use. Very good indeed. Thanks for watching.